Welcome to Mark Reed 757 and I'm going to be posting this on uh, markreed757.com uh, Anyway, the, what you are seeing now is some pictures of my before, well, <laughs> hell, my current and you'll see the differences, I'm not going to put these up all the time I'm just putting it up on my first uh, vlog, if you will uh, you'll hear more about that later, but I'm just uh, talking to kind of fill up time, as you can see. Well, it's almost over, and I'll uh, see you later, and have a good day. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Mark Reed, and you're welcome to Mark Reed 757. This will be the uh, weight loss journey section of it. Um, I've been real reluctant on starting a documentary of this since uh, I've had many failed attempts before, but I have not gone as far as taking video of myself or even showing people what I look like, because frankly, I'm embarrassed. It's uh, no fun going to the beach. It's uh, a struggle to get out of bed. It's horrible to uh, even think about going up to meet new people, because, you know, I lack the confidence because I'm so embarrassed about my weight. Now, I can't tell you I was always like this. You know, growing up in school, I was never the skinny kid, but I was never a fat kid either. You know, I, I was uh, pretty much a normal weight, a little bit above average in athletics. And uh, after getting married, and or I should say during high school, I did get up to 230 pounds. You know, that was scary because I'm like, wow, I'm kind of big and other people start calling me fat and, you know, I worked real hard. It took me two months. I shed 50 pounds and I felt great, you know, on top of the world. And then, you know, just life happens. So after high school, I got to get up to around 260 pounds and there again, I uh, went right at it got down to 205, best shape of my life, and still the best shape I've ever been, and that was at 21. Well, I'm currently 36, at 413 pounds. It's uh, terrible to think that. You know, I, I've uh, had many attempts in the last 15 years after getting over 300 pounds, had many, many, many attempts for the last 15 years saying, I'm gonna do it again. You know, I did it twice, I can do it again. Well, I'd lose 50 pounds or I'd lose 20 or 10 or 15 or, but then I would gain it all back. And uh, I'd even try to document it on Facebook or maybe uh, like make an online journal or something. But this time I'm gonna do a video journal and here I am, I'm not gonna hide anymore. Uh, regardless if it's going to go good or bad, because there's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times. It's pretty much how life goes. I'm a single father of three wonderful children. They're the light of my life. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I'd be. Uh, and they're the reason why I want to keep going. I have to take uh, medication. You know, I, I take four pills a day that I just have to take. I don't have a choice. I have two blood pressure and uh, one cholesterol and one for acid reflux. And it's just getting out of hand. And then, like I said, getting up in the morning is just a bear. And then I get these new pains every day. And I realize, you know, it's not gonna go away. The only thing that I can do is control what I do. You know, I don't have to stop at every fast food joint along the way. I don't have to go to buffets and I don't have to make obscene amounts of food at home. You know, there's cures for that. There's, you know, it's just changing the mindset and that's what I'm here to do. I did spend the last about two months trying to change my mindset. I'm not saying it's completely changed because, you know, I can't tell the future. I can say I'm going to do what I can and I'm, I'm going to be as adamant about these video blogs as possible. And uh, we'll see where it goes and maybe I might uh, 
inspire a few of you. Not sure. Uh, I don't really anticipate this video going very far. I don't anticipate doing a whole lot. I just feel as though this will be something that I can do for me and something that it will benefit me and hopefully um, it may inspire a couple people. I'm not sure. Uh, but this video is just basically introducing me, introducing where I came from and where the weight is. Uh, I will say a, a few years ago, you know, I pretty much met one of my lowest points ever. I was married, had three kids, had the house, had a great job, car, everything. Lost my father, lost my job, then pretty much lost my house. Uh, wife divorced me and I was on the verge of losing my kids as well and I had to spend this last three years or so just trying to do everything I can to do what I can for the kids you heard that uh, alarm here <laughs> that's telling me it's time to eat that's one thing I did was I set up an app where it goes off every time I need to eat. So yes, yeah, shortly after I uh, create this video, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. It's uh, one of the many changes I've done for myself, and I feel that it's a crucial one, because before I would just kind of eat whenever I felt like it. And I'll probably save that a little more in detail for another video. In fact, that wasn't planned, I, I kind of have a set schedule but you know as life is it always changes and um, I kind of lost my train of thought but hey you'll have that when you're doing things on the fly I do have uh, plans to eat better you know I've, I've started doing that I was always doing fast food uh, you know there's a McDonald's on every corner there's a Taco Bell uh, you know oh god I love Taco Bell you, you know they, they even started breakfast you think, oh yeah, Taco Bell on breakfast, this is terrible. Yeah, well, Taco Bell's breakfast is fucking awesome. I can't help it. It is great. It tastes wonderful to me. And um, uh, I'm at the toilet a couple hours later. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have plans to eat better, which I have implemented those plans. And, you know, I'll, I'll start recording the progress and seeing how it's July 4th, you know. Independence Day. Yay America. Um, I start off with a shake uh, every day and I've been drinking a shake like in the middle of the day but I'm planning on switching that up a little bit. I have uh, lots of protein in there you know nuts, chicken, fish, beans, um, I do oatmeal, vegetables, fruits, you know, I, I try to throw everything in the mix, and I just want a pretty balanced diet. The main no-nos that I'm, I'm just completely staying away from, and I have stayed away from the last two uh, weeks, is uh, bread. That's a big no-no. And pretty much anything uh, real sugary, you know, zero pop, which I have to tell you, I did, I did kind of cheat, and I had a pop about a week ago or so, and it tasted nasty to me. I, I was like this. This is terrible. How do I ever drink this stuff? I drink lots and lots and lots of water. Uh, I'll do some teas and uh, with the shakes I add a whole combination of stuff. I'll, I'll get into that later some other video. Uh, that's not for today. My plan is to exercise. Um, you know a lot of people you know they, they're at this misconception that exercise is so important. I mean it is important to an extent but obviously your diet's probably 80 to 90 percent of it. If you get your diet under control, you almost don't even have to exercise. Exercise just helps kind of tighten up them spots and it kind of, you know, helps your, boost your energy levels, which in turn also helps burn more calories that will allow you to uh, get your nutrients even more. Uh, so anyway, with the exercise, being 413 pounds, obviously, I'm not doing one-handed push-ups. <laughs> I'm not even doing one pull-up. Hell, it's hard enough to just get up on my own. Uh, I can add, you know, like walking, and I'll just try to walk a little more each day. 
uh, I love doing disc golf. I do that with my uh, kids, and I try to do that uh, at least three or four times a week. And the kids love it. I love it. I take them to the playground. Hey, welcome back. I, uh, as I said, life happens. <laughs> I know I was on the eating better and exercising somewhere in there. You know, I'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, the battery died on me completely. So I couldn't help it. I had to shut it off, put it on the charger, or went disc golfing with my kids, who I'll uh, introduce to you in a little bit. But anyway, getting back to things. Um, eating better, you know, I, that's probably 80, 90 percent. I'm pretty sure I've probably mentioned that before. I uh, mentioned it again. You know, I'm going for five to six meals a day, you know, small meals, trying to, you know, completely eliminate the bread. Not sure if I said that. I think I did. But uh, since the battery died, it kind of messed things up. And anyway, I'll. I'm pretty sure I did most of the food stuff. I'll, I'll keep more on the exercise. You know, even though the exercise is like 10 to 20 percent of the whole lifestyle change, if you will, or diet, you can um, still put a lot of stock into it because it's very important to get your muscles moving and active and everything. But as for me, being a huge person, being 413 pounds, it's very hard for me to get around. Um, so I can't do the kind of exercises that most people can do. You know, I, I can do maybe one push-up. You know, I, I can't do any pull-ups, can't do sit-ups real well. You know, it's very hard for me to breathe. I mean, hell, it's hard for me to put on my socks in the morning. It's a struggle. I mean, look at the. Uh, I, keep, I, I can barely reach here. You see, it, it, it's just it's pathetic. Um, but what I can do is walk from time to time, and it, even that hurts. But I can walk so far, and then I figure if I could walk a little farther the next day, then good. But uh, with having plantar fasciitis, that makes it difficult because then the more you use your feet, the more it hurts. So, you know, I'm fighting with that, and then I'm. You know, fighting with uh, all the different medications I'm on. I'm, I'm fighting with uh, just living daily life in general. And then, you know, the, the other issue I have is I have a very, very, very limited budget. Um, in fact, this isn't even my camera. I'm just using my boss's camera. It's uh, something he was graciously uh, uh, allowing me to do. And, you know, I want to document this whole video blog or vlog you know I'm 36 so I'm, I'm not up to all the new terminology uh, however I do feel this would be beneficial for me and possibly even beneficial for other people to look back on you know uh, kind of get the mindset and get the feel that it is a real struggle so like if even if I do succeed and say I'm having a hard time uh, you know, after I lose a hundred pounds or more, um, I can look back and go, look, yeah, it's never easy. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's the message. Just keep going. Always keep pushing forward. There's going to be setbacks. There's going to be obstacles. You know, I, I got all this pain. That's an obstacle. Overcome it. And yeah, some people say, hey, well, you got pain. Just uh, don't worry about that pain. Um, okay yeah if I don't worry about that pain I could be out for three months and then I can't do anything but you can always control what you eat what you put in your body so that's one thing that I have to really really push hard on now these video blogs are not going to be consistent I mean I'm sure there's going to be things that pop up and there's a, a lot involved with putting a video together and um, but I am going to be as consistent as possible regardless if it's good news or bad news. I'm going to be there. Uh, anyway, I want to introduce my kids. Put that down, Carl. Come here. Come here, Katie. Come here, Kyle. Just, just set it down, buddy. This is Katie, my daughter. She's seven years old. She's a pretty little thing. Here's my boy, Kyle. He's here. He, he likes to keep me on my toes and get in trouble a lot 
Yes, we're, we're, we're working on it. And this is my oldest, Carl. He's a, a really good boy, and he's learning just as I am every day. And uh, we do our best to be a pretty good family. And uh, that's my kids. Carl, go ahead and uh, shut her off.